Hey, 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 what's going on, people? Eagle Talks Football. We're back again with a quick little video to tell you guys who Arsenal could potentially face in the Champions League knockout rounds. Yes. In the round of 16, who could Arsenal end up playing? Which team could we end up playing? As, of course, Arsenal topped Group B to advance to the next round of the Champions League. And I just want to start off by saying it's a shame that two of the other Premier League representatives in Manchester City uh, I'm sorry, only Arsenal and Manchester City could go through to the next round. And you have little old Newcastle and Manchester United ruining it for the rest of the Premier League because now we might struggle to get that fifth Champions League spot. Although Arsenal don't need it, it is, it, 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 would, it is always interesting to see if we, uh, with the new structure. So first of all, before we go any further, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the structure for the Premier League is officially going to change past this season. Next season, the structure for the Premier League will be extremely different. Tonight was the last game ever where you're going to see the group stages performed the same way. Let me show you what I mean. Tonight was the last traditional ever group stage game. The format of the Champions League will be changing next season to the Swiss system, which will mean there will be 36 teams that will be competing on one big table. You will basically be playing different opponents, eight games, eight different opponents, and it will be the top eight leagues. Uh, will it, uh, The top eight will advance where the, the nine to 24 teams will compete in two leg playoffs to, uh, to join in the round of 16. So it's, it's kind of different, but I think it's going to be a little bit more entertaining because you're not going to be playing the same old three teams and you're going to be playing an additional two games in the group stages. So it's going to be a little bit different. The competition is going to be a little bit longer, but that's, that's the first part. Now, enough about that. Let's talk about the Champions League this season. What has happened this season? Well, Arsenal finished top of our group. We obviously seen that Bayern Munich finished top of their group. There's a bunch of other teams that, that we can talk about also that finished top of their group. But you guys are not here to talk about who finished top of their group, like Real Madrid, Real Sociedad, Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, Manchester City, and Barcelona. What you guys are here to talk about is who finished second in their group, who Arsenal could potentially play. And these are the teams that finished second in their group. And these are the potential outcomes of who we could play in the round of 16. Yes, Inter Milan being probably the toughest opponent out of all of them. Then you have Napoli, PSG, RB Leipzig. We are not able to play PSV because we played them in our own group. So PSV do not count as an, as an opponent that we could face. Lazio, also an opponent that we could face. Porto are also a very tough matchup. They are very, they're a very tough matchup. Don't take them lightly. And then you have um, Copenhagen. So straight off the bat, I want to know what you guys think. Who would be your top three candidates on who you'd want Arsenal to face? I would want to avoid Inter. I would want to avoid Porto. And I would probably want to avoid... That's it. Just those two. Just those two. If I can avoid Porto and Inter, I'm happy. I will take Lazio, I will take Copenhagen, I will take uh, R uh, RB Leipzig, and I'll take Paris Saint-Germain. I think we could easily beat those guys. No disrespect to them, but the way that PSG play, they create all these chances, they don't finish them. Napoli, I haven't watched them too much, so it, it, I might be surprised in, in how I see them perform. When it comes to RB Leipzig, I've watched them play at times this season, not too impressed personally. Uh, when it comes to Copenhagen, I've seen the Manchester United back and forth. I think our defense can hold uh, withhold them. And then out of Lazio and Napoli, I would, uh, out of Lazio and Porto, I would avoid Porto because I've seen that they did well in their group. As for Lazio, I'll give it to them. They're a good side, but I, I think we can beat them on our day. So in my opinion, the team that I would go for is, of course, everyone probably wants Copenhagen. Even though they finished second in Group A, everyone probably wants Copenhagen. Uh, Copenhagen is the team that finished with, if I'm not mistaken, the lowest points to, to come out of their group. Them and PSG, they're the two teams that finished with eight points to come out of their group. So they're technically the two weakest sides. But I, I think PS, uh, PSV is is just as weak as, uh, as Copenhagen. Uh, when it comes to Porto, Porto and Barcelona were tied on 12 points. I think they're a really good side. RB Leipzig, they battered the rest of the group except for Man City. So I think 
they showed that they're a decent side also. And they've scored a lot of goals. They've scored 13 goals in the competition, but they've conceded 10. Um, you go to PSG. PSG have been very poor, only scoring nine goals, conceding eight, uh, getting two draws, a, 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 two losses, and only one victory throughout the whole draw, uh, the whole group stages. So you got to question how good they are. Lazio surprisingly have won three of their games, and it wasn't a, it wasn't an easy group either. They had Fire Nord and Celtics, so very respectable there. Inter, we cannot take them lightly. They did not lose a game in the group stages. I think Inter is the best team out of the whole pot. Uh, B, I want to avoid them like the plague. And Napoli, I think we can beat on any given day. They only won two games. They drew one. And they conceded a plethora of goals also. They did play against Union Berlin and Braga. So you would have expected them not to concede as much, but they conceded nine goals. And then Copenhagen... Actually, from Group A, that whole Group A was weird with Manchester United, Galatasaray, and Copenhagen. Copenhagen got through based on their first three, uh, uh, their first couple games where they where they won, like they won a couple, of, they won two of them, I think, and they got two draws. So that's where they saved themselves. The last two they didn't even get, they didn't even win. But hey, it is what it is. Personally, for me, guys. I think Arsenal could really do some damage this season, especially when you look at the potential teams left in the competition. I really do think we could do some damage. I'm not sitting here pronouncing us as winners yet. I'm not saying we're going to guarantee win anything. But I'm just saying, looking at the competition and the teams left in the competition, I really do believe we have an opportunity this season to maybe do something that we weren't able to do the last couple of times we were in the Champions League, show that we're a competitive team in Europe. I know people are going to say, oh, you didn't even beat Sporting. But that was in the Europa League and we didn't play our strongest team. No disrespect to to Sporting, but we did not play our strongest team in the first leg. In the Europa League, we took it lightly. The Champions League, we're going to come correct. We're going to take it serious. The teams that are remain in the Champions League that are, of course, in group, uh, majority are in Group A, are Real Sociedad, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Man City. Of course, you got um, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, and uh, they're all in Group A. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying... We could do something. Let's just see how it goes. Because we're not going to face any of these big boys in the first round. We're going to have to see how, how the draw works. The draw, if you guys don't know, the draw for the Champions League will be on Monday at 11 o'clock UK time. That's 6 a.m. Eastern in America. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know. Who would you write? Uh, would you want Arsenal to face? Who would you not, not want Arsenal to face? For me, I would want to avoid Inter. And I'd want to probably play Copenhagen. And if I had to pick any of the other teams, probably PSG. I think we could take down PSG. It'd be nice to see Kylian Mbappe. But yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll catch you guys tomorrow or, or, or today, whenever you guys whenever you guys see this video on Vibes from the Six. It's going to be me, Kaz, and Jamie talking about the Liverpool-Manchester United preview. And of course, get ready for the Champions League, guys. Group stage football is back at our uh, at the Emirates. And, you know, we don't get knocked out of the group stages. We don't get knocked out in the group stages ever. We always get out of the group stages. We make sure you were there for the, uh, for, for the knockout rounds. But, yeah, I'm out of here, people. You have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.